A 33-year-old female who underwent EUS-guided drainage of a Waldorf necrosis with placement of a transgastric luminoposing metal stent five weeks previously presented with hematemesis. On endoscopy, large amount of blood was seen in the stomach, with blood seen actively flowing out of the stent. An EUS examination was then performed to determine if the bleeding could be originating from within the Waldorf necrosis. The Waldorf necrosis had significantly decreased in size. However, the distal end of the stent was surrounded by vasculature with blood seen within the residual necrotic cavity. An angiogram was performed which showed active extravasation of contrast from a branch of the splenic artery. This in turn correlated with a bleeding source seen on EUS. Coil embolization was then performed by interventional radiology, with subsequent cessation of bleeding.